This is another broadcast of chatting from the word. We are so delightful that you have joined us on this broadcast and that you will stick with us in this broadcast. We have been airing our program for now for I believe a couple of years and we have uh, a couple of followers and follow, that following us and we are so uh, delighted and so thankful that we we do uh, we we put on Facebook yesterday that chatting from the word is coming back you see uh, we've been not airing for quite some time and our first airing back was actually last Monday. If you all received the, the show on Facebook directly, that is because of the difficulties I was having to bring it on because of, of, my, of my fault. It wasn't YouTube fault, but it was something I did wrong. So we want to apologize for that, but this uh, broadcast uh, uh, today will be broadcast uh, through uh, YouTube and we're so thankful for YouTube for allowing us to broadcast this program so that you may be able to uh, uh, hear a portion of God's Word being taught and uh, being preached. I um. I know a lot of us are going through some changes, some difficulties in life. You know, as that song just stated, it wouldn't be for God's grace. None of us would be here. It is because of God's grace that brought us this far. And it is because of God's grace that woke us up this morning. If it wasn't been for God's grace and God love for us to send His Son Jesus down the cross, where would we be? That wouldn't be salvation in, in the world, would it? If it wouldn't be for His apostles that He left here to guide us and to show us how to live uh, that Christian life in that Christian walk and how to worship him that would be no salvation so I just want to say that for for a time and bring your your thoughts on, on that that we should be in obedience to God's will this morning not our will but God's will if we're going to make heaven our home the important thing is to do today is to hear 
what our Father in Heaven is telling us today. So this morning we're going to go, I have a word of prayer. Will you pray with me, please? Father, which are in Heaven, Father, we recognize that you are a great God. Father, we recognize that you are God through all the generations. Father, we recognize that you have been there through our tough times and our good times. Father, we recognize because of you, we are who we are today. Because of you, Father, we have salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Father, because of you, because of you, Father, and your grace and your love for us, do we stand on today, Father. Father, we pray for those that are suffering this morning. We pray for those that lost loved ones, Father. We pray for those that are sick and have received a, a, bad, a, a bad diagnosis of cancer. That they may take their life, that they may take their life in a couple months. We pray, Father, that they may gain, to have more faith in you so when they close their eyes, they can recognize that their next step will be heaven. Oh, Father, we pray for those that are not in you, but they get in you, Father. That they get in the body of Christ, in your son's church. The church that your son by for we pray father for that we pray for the churches to be obedient in accordance to your will through jesus christ through the apostles and others who have uh steered away so that salvation can be brought down father we you know, we pray father for everyone that's listening to our program we pray that they listen with a tentative ear and, and look with tentative eyes and see how great you are. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. As I said, we haven't become known in quite some time, and we hope and pray that the audience that we've had before uh, we, we stop airing, that they will uh, come and see the program again and to... Uh, recognize how great God is and, and recognize that brother, your brother here is, is trying to teach what thus says the Lord. I'm not teaching me. I'm not teaching brother York, but I'm teaching the goodness of Jesus Christ and him crucified. And, and we hope and we pray that all will see that. Many today Many today are teaching self. Many today are teaching instead of us praising God on our first day of the week, on the first day of the week. They want to come and praise self. So Father, so uh, we, we, we hope and pray this morning that we may be able to help someone to see, to see. It's not about, it's not about me, but it's about a father who sits high and looks low. As I said, I'm so thankful to be on again that we hope and pray that you're so happy that we are on and that we are going to bring quality lessons to you. Uh, on this program, chatting from the Word. But on today, I want to talk about supporting our ministries. Last Monday, we talked a little bit about it, and I still want, as you know, Brother Yorkie, he, he liked to iterate it, buddy. He liked to keep going on, especially. If, if, if something is, is on his mind and, and something I too believe needs to be brought up. Uh, you know, today the way churches are, 
uh, especially the body of Christ, we some have, in, in, in Brother Oscar's opinion, have left the faith. And the reason why I uh, said left the faith it is because they want to change what the Lord has said in His Word. They want to change uh, the pattern uh, that the apostles have left us to follow. You may ask the question, how are they changing it, Brother York? Uh, Brother Oscar, how are they changing? What, what do you mean about the change? You know, changes don't happen overnight. Sometimes it's the little things that we allow. And when I say we, I'm talking about the leadership of the church allowed to creep in. And even today, we are allowing little things to creep in so that we may find an enjoyment in, so that we may be entertained. As I said, don't make it about us. It's about God. It's all about God. And when we stop making it about God, we stop praising God. Maybe I see, baby. They want a good feeling when they go to worship Him. They want to be able to clap. They want to be able to do the white tooth. They, uh, they want to be able to hear a, a solo be sung. But that's not God's way. See, we, we, we must recognize that we are not going to church to be entertained. But we go on to church to to entertain God and to praise Him and to make Him happy. Again, you may ask, Brother Oscar, why are you bringing this up? I'm bringing this up because it's not too many of us are standing on truth today. We are few and in between. And, 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 and to me, and if you ask me, it takes a real brother to stand on truth and stand up for truth. Because sometimes when you stand for truth, you get knocked down. And, and I've been in this ministry for a long time, and I have been knocked down for standing up for the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's why I believe that it is worth, the gospel of Jesus Christ is worth our time and worth our support. See, many of us, we, I, I believe many of us, we, we, we want to know the, the, not hear truth for truth's sake. And many of us don't want to do anything about it. Many of us say, well, I've been in the church for a long time. Let them do whatever they want to do. But that's not God's answer. Because God is not willing, through peace, not willing that any should pass, but all come to salvation. And if we in the body of Christ cannot stand up for Christ and allow Christ to be heard, who will do it? Who will do it? So this is why uh, I want to talk about sponsoring this ministry here. Because your brother here, the only thing he is trying to do is bring Christ back to the forefront. Is bring Christ back to a society that have forgotten about Christ. To a society who want to do their own thing instead of listening to God. You know, in our dollar bills, we say, God, we trust. But are we truly trusting God when we want to do our thing instead of God thing? No, we're not, are we? You know, last week, we, we heard the trial and all this was going on in government. And then you got to wonder, where is God? 
with all the killings and and robbery and robbery and, and, and home being robbed and, 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 and things and when you go places you're feeling unsafe. We got to answer ourselves, where is God? When churches are closing its doors, we got to ask ourselves, where is God? When churches are fighting because they don't want to stand for God and do it God's way, where is God? We got to question it, my friend. Where is God? When things are going like they're going today, where is God? You know, this is why I am coming to you from this program, chatting from the Word. Because I truly believe we need to hear the Word this morning. We need to hear what Christ is saying to us today. And I believe we have left that form, if I may use that word, form of doctrine that is contained in the Word of God. So this morning, I want to talk about sponsoring this ministry. You know, I've been talking about sponsoring this ministry for quite some time. And if you have been following me, uh, I need help. Brother York is not rich. And I want to bring quality shows to the forefront so that souls may be one to Christ. So that souls may recognize that they need Christ. So I want to ask this morning. I want to plead with you this morning. That you help me. Help the Lord. As he used me as an instrument on this program to win Christ. To win many to Christ, if I may say that statement. And I know you may say, Brother York, you're on your soapbox and you're talking all this and all that. How we know you're right, Brother York. Many times on this program, I have said, if I'm wrong, let me know. If I've said something that you don't understand, and if I'm wrong, let me know. And I haven't had many, many to tell me that I was wrong. Many have told me, uh, 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 many, several have talked with me, and, and, and several have uh, uh, emailed me, and we talked, but they never said. What you saying, Brother York, you're wrong. I challenge any brother. If I'm wrong, prove it to me from the Word of God. Prove it to me from the Word of God. So I want to do with this program is to bring quality programming to you, to the audience, and especially to those who don't know God. So I want to ask for your support, if you can. It doesn't matter, amount doesn't matter. If you send a dollar a month, a dollar adds up. You send five dollars, five dollar adds up. If you send me ten dollars, ten dollar adds up. If I get ten people to send ten dollars, that's enough right there for me to, to, to do another program, to to get background on my program, to, to, to get quality of this program. That's enough right there. I don't ask for much. Just help Brother York spread the truth of the gospel in the United States today. In a place where the gospel is not truly being preached as it should be. As it should be. I know many who are are not a member of the Church of Christ or sin. They are fighting among the church. But 
I believe uh, the apostles in the word said confirming the faith. We need to confirm the faith more. We need to fight for the faith more. I believe it was, uh, turn with me please quickly, because Brother York wants to be, be, be on, 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 uh, on hit with this before he moves on to, to something else. And if you know, Brother York is just talking, but you know, the word today, the word today need to be confirmed. And we need to fight for the faith. We need to fight for the faith. Uh, we need to allow the word of God being heard. And we need to fight for what God says the church should be. And I believe many of us today are not fighting for the faith. And I believe this is what Jude said. Listen to what Jude, I believe it was Jude. Jude said, Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James to them that are sanctified by God the Father, and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. His Jews that word contend me, uh, contends me, is to fight for the faith. Keep it going. Keep it alive. What? What it says? Contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. And many today want to change that. Many today don't want to hear what faith, what the body of Christ truly is. So your brother here, he wants to do that. He wants to contend for the faith. He wants to make sure that our worship is in tune with God. Not just only me. You have many brothers that try to teach what thus says the Lord. But you have other so-called brothers who don't want to stick and contend for the faith which was once delivered to the apostles. They want to do their own thing. They want to change the name of the church. The church is going to be the body of Christ. They want to bring other things in the worship, but the Bible says just only to see. And this is what Brother Oscar is talking about. Help us at chatting from the Word. Teach and contend for the faith. And I said you can help us by sending donations. Like I said, dollar, five, ten, whatever you can send to help us keep chatting from the word going. Because I love chatting with you. I love talking to you. I love bringing this program in your home or wherever you listen to on Mondays. And I want to keep it going. And like I said, uh, if you want to know where to send monies to, email me. Send me a line or two to my webpage. And again, order my book. Books. Go to my webpage, osteopublishing.com, and order a book. That will help this ministry also. Like I said, Brother your Oscar is not a rich first. I'm just trying to do my best to keep the faith alive, to keep hope alive, to keep salvation alive.
And I want to read what Apostle Paul said too. And it's a continuance of what we were seeing last Monday, if you are if you seen the show. Here, Paul said in First Corinthians chapter nine, beginning with verse eleven, if we have sown unto you spiritual things, is it a great thing if we shall reap your carnal things? If others be partakers of this power over you, are not we rather? Nevertheless, we have not used this power, but suffer all things, lest we should hinder the gospel of Christ. Do you not know that they which minister about holy things live other things of the temple, and they which wait at the altars are the partakers of the altar? Even so, had the law ordained that they which preach the gospel should leave of the gospel. We the ministers of the gospel, our job is, our perspective is, should be preaching the gospel as it is contained in the word. Preaching the gospel as the apostles left. Preaching the gospel as Jesus Christ commanded it to be preached. And I'm here to tell you there's one time too many of us doing that today. It's sad. It's a sad scenario. But many of us are not preaching and living by the gospel. And many preachers say, well, y'all, I can't live by the gospel. I ain't making no money. Yeah, no, you're not making no money. Sure, that's why the churches of Christ need to step up, promote programs like this one, promote brothers that are trying to bring the truth to back to the church. Promote programs like this, help programs like this. I'm going to beg you to buy my book, my book, that will help. See, y'all, you all don't know, but after y'all publishing, we publish our own books. I, I, I print them, I bind them, I, I do everything. And that's why I said, if you, if you read my, 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 my post on my, on my Facebook page, that's why I said, put me to work. Order a book from after y'all publishing. Because I truly do all the work. I don't have a, a, a publishing house that I send my manuscript to. I can't afford it. So what I've done, I have started my own a publishing company. And I publish my own books. When you order a book from me, I go to work printing them out, buying them, putting it together, putting the an envelope, and send it to you. And that's how I do it. Because... I'm a pro man. I can't afford a publishing house. So, I ask you, support this ministry. Support chatting from the word. Help Brother York to get the gospel out there to those who need to hear it. We ain't going to talk long today. We just want to say a couple words to you about that. And next Monday, we hope and pray that you join us and, and that I hope I'm not scaring you all. Because many might be saying, why should I support up Brother York? Support the ministries, please. Support the ministry. Support the truth that's coming going out. And we here in the day know how your area, we need to step up. We need to step up. I know many of you say, I don't want to listen to Brother Yar. They talk bad about Brother Oscar. He don't know nothing. By him, I'm here to tell, tell you. And as I've said, if I'm wrong, show me the Bible where I'm wrong. Call me. Email me. I will eat much. Uh, on my program, they start where you can call in and, and talk with me. And let me know I'm wrong. And let me know that what I'm saying is not contained 
in the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're going to leave you at this time. We are so thankful that you joined us. As I said, visit our webpage, audio book, and support our ministry. And it was good chatting with you from chatting from the word. We hope and pray that all will have a good and blessed day, and we'll see you next time.